this video, I'm going to be explaining how to level efficiently in Oblivion. As you can see, my strength is currently 93 and my intelligence is currently 40, and my luck is 66. My conjuration is currently 49, and I've already leveled it 9 times. My hand to hand is currently 40, and I've already leveled it 9 times. Actually, conjuration 8 times, not 9. Here's my training spells. This conjuration spell is designed to train my, train my conjuration in the best way possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and train my conjuration to the next level. Now my conjuration skill just increased, and one more conjuration skill increase will level me up. But before we do that, As you can see, my conjuration is now 50 instead of 49. Before we do that, before we level up, we're going to equip a 100% chameleon outfit. This 100% chameleon outfit is designed to be used with if you're going to be training skills such as blunt, blade, hand to hand, any combat skills. Now you're going to want to go into your options and change the difficulty all the way to the max, to the hardest possible setting. Return, return, hit something make sure I can see where I got my fist out. Now we're going to need to find a troll, so travel down to Breville and find this place, a Nutwill. Travel to a Nutwill, and there should be a troll nearby. If there's not, you'll have to look around. Luckily, there's one right here for me. So this is how you're going to boost up Blunt, Hand to Hand, or Blade. As you can see, my hand-to-hand -hand right now is 40, so it needs to be 41. This is going to be the 10th increase of a minor skill. Now, I'll explain a little bit while I'm beating the crap out of this guy. I'm going to be increasing two attributes by five, and one attribute by one. This is called 551 method of efficient leveling, which is what I'm doing and what I think is, is the better way to go. This way I'll be able to increase my luck by one and two other attributes each by five. So now I'm going to move far enough away so I can travel back to my house. I did that so I could, so I could see if I'm able to travel. So let's go back up to Frostcrag. Uh, there's a little bit of an FPS uh, lag here. It happens again, but I don't know why. Something with fraps. Anyway, I'm going to head inside. And now, what you're going to want to do is, before you reach a level up, you need to train whatever skills you want. To, uh, that you're going to end up increasing by five, five. You need to increase them each ten times. Ten times will give you five increase. So now you can see I'm about to level up. My hand to hand has been increased ten times. It started at 31, it's now 41. My conjuration is about to be increased one more, which will allow me to level up. 10 levels up, 10 level ups, sorry, in conjuration will be to increase my intelligence. The hand to hand is to increase my strength, and of course the one point is going to go into luck. So now my conjuration skill increased, I've got 10 increase in conjuration. And I just did 
10 increases in hand to hand. Now, you don't have to sleep 8 hours, you can just do 1 hour, but gotta get a full night's rest, you know. So now, as you can see, since I did hand to hand 10 levels, my strength is now going to be increased by 5, my intelligence is going to be increased by 5, and my luck by 1. Now you can also do 5-5-5, five, 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 which would be the same as what I just did, except you would have done 10 levels in either skill that's, that's governed by attribute like willpower, agility, speed, whatever. So as you can see now my conjuration is 51, hand-to-hand -hand 41.